everyone, it's Crypto Chelsea, and I am so excited for this video because I'm gonna be doing a FIO dashboard overview. So I'm gonna be walking you through some of the features in the FIO dashboard, and I'm gonna show you how to get your Web3 decentralized digital identity, which will be in the form of FIO crypto handles and FIO domains. So before I show you the dashboard, I wanna go over some basics on what a FIO crypto handle is and what a domain is. So first of all, what is a FIO crypto handle? Well, it's gonna be in the format of username at domain. So an example of one would be Chelsea at wallet. Now, these crypto handles are gonna be a single identifier that eliminates the need for you to use that long public wallet address that's made up of letters and numbers and also prone to many mistakes when receiving and sending cryptocurrency. FIO crypto handles open up all this utility and function because you will be able to send crypto, request crypto, receive cryptocurrency, and even sign NFTs using your FIO crypto handle. And you can do this across many different tokens, assets, wallets, exchanges, and marketplaces. Next, I wanna to touch on what is a FIO domain. So earlier I gave the example of Chelsea at wallet being my FIO crypto handle. Well, the at wallet is the domain part. So you can actually go into the dashboard and get a custom domain registration we all know that there's only a certain amount of domains that most people want, so there is still a ton available right now, but a domain is basically a non-fungible token. So this means that it can be freely transferred across users, wallets, and accounts, just like any other cryptocurrency asset. All right, so that's enough of the basics. Let's go into the dashboard so I can show you some of the features. Here I am on the dashboard. To access the FIO dashboard, you'll go to dashboard.fioprotocol.io and here you'll see the home page. So here I can go ahead and register my FIO crypto handle. There are gonna be a few free ones that you can get here by using one of these domains. So let's say you wanna find one, you can select one of these and type in the perfect username. Um, you'll be able to see instantly if it's available by clicking get my FIO crypto handle. And this one is available, which is FIO rocks at wallet. Now I can go ahead and add it to the cart and then go ahead and click purchase now. Now at this point, you're able to either create a FIO account um, by clicking create account here. When you create account, you'll have to have an email address, set up a password, confirm that email, and then also set up a PIN number because it is a decentralized wallet, which will hold your FIO assets and handles and domains. So now because I already have an account, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. Now once you create your account and sign in, you can get your free FIO crypto handles by using one of those domains that I showed you. You can see I have three of them for me and my wallet here. And so now I'm just gonna show you some of the features. So I'll show you this at my Chelsea at Moon FIO crypto handle. Um, most of these come with 100 bundles, which means these are transactions that we can do using these FIO crypto handles. Um, you can always add more if you need, but you can see under actions, we have a few different things I wanna walk through. So the first one is NFT signatures. So I can actually sign an NFT using this FIO crypto handle. And the reason you may wanna do this is to show authenticity that you are the creator of the NFT and to help prevent forgeries. You can also use your handle to send a FIO request. So similar to the way PayPal and Venmo work, I can actually put in a FIO handle saying that they maybe owe me $10 in USDC or Bitcoin or whatever it is that I wanna request from, I can do that all from the request page. And then the last feature here is to link. So this is also known as mapping. And then this is the settings widget where you can see some advanced settings such as transferring your FIO crypto handle to a different owner. Now, if you wanna register additional crypto handles, you can click on this button. So that's pretty much it for handles. Next, I wanna to touch on FIO domains. So to register a FIO domain, you can click on FIO domains and then register FIO domain. And then you can go ahead and search here to see if it's available. So once you own and register a domain by clicking on FIO domains, they'll all populate here. Um, you can see that there is a status, so you can either do public or private. You can see there's an expiration date as well. And then some of the actions is that you could renew your domain and you can also register FIO crypto handles using that domain. So I'm gonna click on that and show you here how I can actually select that domain, which is Pinterest, and I can put anything I want before that and then click on add to cart and go through the steps to register this as a FIO crypto handle. 
So that's pretty much it for domains. The last thing I wanna show you on the dashboard is tokens. And this is really just a summary of your FIO wallet. You can see how much FIO you have. You can see rewards if you are staking some FIO. And then you can see the amount of tokens that you do have staked. Now there is two additional buttons here at the top where you can import a FIO wallet. Um, and then you can also click the plus button to add additional new wallets. If you wanna see advanced features in your wallet, you could just click on it here, and then you'll be able to see all the FIO requests you did, all the FIO data, and then also any transactions that you had using that FIO wallet. And then of course, just like any other thing on blockchain, if you wanna see the transaction history by looking at the Explorer, you can click view transaction history, and it'll pull up the FIO blockchain. And then we also have a settings button where you can update your email address and add additional security features. Um, but that is pretty much it. You can also see we have a sign out here. So if you wanna sign out the dashboard, go ahead and click on sign out and it will take you back to the main page. So that is it for this video on the FIO dashboard and some of its key features. Hopefully you see how simple and easy it is for you to get your decentralized Web3 digital identity by getting a FIO crypto handle and a domain. Thanks for watching.